Good morning, my name is Anna and I'm going to teach you one of my favorite kindergarten games. It's called Racing Bears. You don't need to have any special materials, just look around at home like I did. Look, I found some pasta, a pasta um, box and I turned it into the board game. And then I found a few things at home to make the pretend these were the bears. The button, a little stone, and I found a cork. I cut it in pieces. One part has no words. The other one has, uh, sorry, letters. This one has letters, so I made it into a different piece of game. Then I need some coins. And I didn't have any cards, so what I did was I got a letter in the mail and I cut the pieces, cut it into pieces to create cards. But if you have cards or if you have, uh, yeah, if you have cards, just use cards. Okay, here we go, racing bears. We are going to pretend that these are the bears and we need to get, let's say, five chips. Maybe that's our goal for the game. But first, how to make the board game? Cut a rectangle, and uh, you're going to create five little cut, five columns. One can be very narrow to put the numbers from one to 10, and then the other ones will be where the bears um, will race, and you need to have, they need to have 10 boxes, right? So very simple. Then we need to put four pieces, chips, to pretend these are the bears. And then we're going to put at the end of the opposite side the chips that the bears need to get. I can play this game by myself. It's fun too. Or you can play it together. Or you can create any ways you want of playing two people, three people, by myself. Okay, need the cards. As I said, I wrote numbers in these pieces of paper to pretend that these are the cards I need from uh, one to 10. If you want to make a joker, just make a joker um, or a wild card, made a wild card and it will be fine if you get 20 of these. So, first of all, we need to move all the pieces and then we're going to start. Nobody owns a piece. This is a strategy game, so you have to move the piece that is more convenient to get to the end of the board, okay? So, we'll see. Nine. I'm going to put the first piece to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, one, two, three, two, one, two, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now ten. Huh, which one can I move? I cannot move any 110, so what I'm going to do is break this number apart. And I say, well, if I move one, I get to this piece. I get the piece, but now this has to go back to start. Now I can still move nine more, because I took one from here, so I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to put the chip that I need to replace. Does that make sense? I could have moved any other one, okay? But I decided to move this one. It was faster to get the, the chip. Eight, huh? Let's take a look at this board. Which one? These, if I move eight, I get 
if I move 8 here, I don't get it because, oh no, wait a second, I'm in 2. I can move it, yes. Huh, I can move any of those. So it says 8, I'm going to move just this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yes. So another one, and this goes all the way back to the start, and I replace it. One more. Wow, I have a wild card. I can pick whatever number I want. So I'm going to leave you thinking, what will be the best number that this <clears throat> wild card can be so that I get to another chip. Okay, you want to be five? One, two, three, four, five. I got it. And now we have to start all over again, replace the chip, and keep going. Have fun, everybody.